Hi everyone. I learned about this new tool recently that I thought might be interesting to uh, all of you Go players that are looking to improve your game. It's called Go Review Partner and it's a uh, free program. I learned about it on OGS. I was reading the OGS forums, the uh, online Go server forums, and uh, it just got mentioned in a discussion there and I thought it sounded pretty interesting and I went to check it out. So this is the home page of Go Review Partner and I will uh, include a pointer to this page uh, in the description and uh, there's just a little bit about it on the front page and then uh, you can go to the documentation here or you can go straight for the download here. Um, so let's, um, well first let's say what it does and that's there's a pretty decent description of it uh, in the documentation. It's a two-step process where it will take an SGF file which is a file that has been created to record your, your game. You can download these. For example, if you play a game on OGS, you can find a game there and download it. And um, it runs it through a, a Go engine. Uh, you get to choose which one. I'm using uh, Leela for this example. And, um, and then it produces an annotated file. They call it a RSGF file. And then phase two, you can go through that file using this program, and it shows you the... Uh, the computer suggested alternative uh, moves at each uh, at each step. So uh, pretty interesting, I think. Let's go um, back to the home page and talk about the download. Um, so I just chose the first option for download. It says if you don't know what bot to pick, go for this one. Um, AQ. Uh, I just saw Haley played a game with AQ and it beat her. So AQ is, is obviously a pretty strong program as well. I was just more familiar with Leela. And then there's options for these uh, Go engines as to whether they use the CPU only or whether they use the, the GPU, the graphics processing unit. And, um, you know, I don't know if you have, if you have a GPU that's uh, worth, worth using, I, you can probably get a speed up by downloading one of these two options. But this download is, um, is complete and only uses a CPU. So it's probably the most, uh, most uh, flexible, most applicable to, to all environments. Um, the, the program itself is actually just uh, Python scripts. So if you want to um, run it, it, it uses uh, Python version two. So if you already have the latest version of Python, well, latest uh, version two of Python, because there's also a version three uh, uh, already on your machine or want to install it, you can run it directly from the source code. And in fact, uh, these uh, downloads, they just are a zip file which includes the Python interpreter and a, a user interface library and the Python code, and uh, you just unzip it. And um, the uh, place I unzipped it to, this is important, um, this is on my PC in the C drive. I created a directory called Go Review Partner and unzipped it there, and it created this uh, more elaborate name, Go Review Partner v0.1, that's the version of Leela with no GPU. And then in that directory, yeah, there are subdirectories, but then Go Review Partner itself is what you run. Uh, the reason why I'm mentioning this in some detail is because the first time I downloaded the program, <laughs> I downloaded it into program files. I mean, the first time I, I unzipped it, uh, you know, I just downloaded it into a downloads directory, but then I unzipped it and I unzipped it into program files and the program failed. And here, I'll go ahead and run it and I can explain better what happened. Um, so when the program runs, you, you saw two things come up there. Um, basically, this is the Go Review Partner, this, this small window here. And then this larger window here has uh, output. This is the output from the Python interpreter. And what, what happened when I tried to run it is that this window would flash up and disappear too fast for me to read it. <laughs> and in fact, to debug it, I had to uh, uh, download a Python interpreter and run the source myself and figure out what was going on. Uh, and what was happening was it was trying to update a configuration file and, um, and it was failing because that configuration file was in the program files directory and uh, because of security restrictions, uh, Windows wasn't letting it uh, update that file. And, uh, and so it would fail immediately and there was no clue as to what was going on. So anyway, that's, uh, let's just exit here. I'm going to get back to that program in a bit. But that's the point. Uh, when you download it and you uh, unzip it, unzip it to a directory that you create either in your home directory or directly on the C drive, but be sure and create it somewhere where, um, where you have write access to the, all the files that are created there. 
Okay, so let's go back to the homepage of Go Review Partner. Um, the most useful link here after um, after the the download here is the documentation page. So that is right here, and um, it has a pretty good description of what Go Review Partner does. Um, so let's go through this um, step by step. First of all, let's go to the online Go server, and I'll show you how you can get an SGF file. Um, so here we go. Here's the online Go server. And um, if you go to your profile, at the bottom of your profile, it has your game history. And uh, this is the game I'm going to be reviewing. This is the game I played uh, in DDK 76. I think I called it Clever Invasions, DDK 76. And uh, if you click on that, it uh, shows you the game here and then on the side you can download the SGF file so that's how you can uh, that's how you can get an SGF file and you can save it to your machine so I just wanted to show that step so let's kill that and then um, let's go back to Google Review Partner and um, I've already run this once I did this step of running the SGF file on the, the uh, <coughs> running Go Review Partner on the SGF file, and that took about an hour. So that's a, a thing that you want to just let run and go away. It might have been faster than an hour. That was just kind of the initial estimate when I started running. It said it would take about an hour, and I went away and I came back and it was done. It might have been faster. It seemed to be going pretty fast at first, but um, hard to tell. And then um, then you can review that file uh, with this button. Uh, but first, uh, before you run the SGF file, you might want to check out the settings here. So let's go through the settings. Uh, the settings come in two categories. Um, there's the generic settings, uh, the general Go Review Partner settings, and then there's the settings that are specific to the engine that you're using. So what I set here is, um, these are the parameters for the analysis. Um, the number of variations to record during analysis. I set this all the way down to five. It actually starts at 26. They basically, they give a letter to each uh, alternative uh, at each uh, step in the game. And so 26 is <laughs> letters A through Z. So that's a lot of uh, alternatives to look at. And I figured for my purposes, I only want to look at a few uh, top choices just to try and gain some insight. And then... Um, Real game deepness. I think that shows how how many uh, moves ahead that it will um, show how many moves ahead it will uh, it will uh, look. Once you it's looking at an alternative, it says, "Well, this this move is the best move at this point." It will also show how it expects the game to progress for the next few moves. So uh, you can altern you can increase that if you want to look deeper uh, at each alternative. And then this uh, last one down here at the bottom, maximum number of variations to display during review. I just set that to five as well. I think um, uh, the default is it starts here with 26 uh, variations to analyze and 10 to display. So at least you wouldn't be overwhelmed by the display of a bunch of alternatives. But I don't see the point of having this number be different than that number. These are the numbers you're going to, this is the number of variations you're going to analyze uh, and create during analysis on the, this is the number of variations you're going to display when you review it. So those are the generic settings and those are the changes I made. And then um, I downloaded Leela. I chose the option where Leela was downloaded and uh, I left these options unchanged. Um, this is how you can control how much time it spends on the game. So if you wanted to increase this to uh, 20 seconds per move, then you know the uh, the process might go to uh, two hours or three hours. I don't know. It'll it'll take longer, um, but you will get uh, presumably a better quality answer. So I left it with these default values of 10 seconds per move and uh, three seconds per move on the review. I'm not sure what it's doing during the review, but it during the review where it needs this parameter. But um, but in any case, those are the settings I used. That was the default, and it seemed to be pretty responsive. So um, let's go take a look at the, the game. I already did the step one of running the SGF file analysis on that file, and it creates an RSGF file, the review file, in the same directory. 
So um, I can go to the directory where I've stored all of my files by clicking on that. And um, this is uh, the, uh, the, the RSGF file it created after I analyzed that, that SGF file. So let's open it. And you'll see what this uh, program does. Um, so let's move this. <clears throat> so let's see, I think you should be able to see most of the screen now. Um, here, let's move this up a little bit in case you can't see the bottom too well. There's not much going on at the top. Um, there are these uh, buttons at the top that let you page through the game uh, step by step. And um, at the beginning, it's not showing too many alternatives. Um, so let's go forward a little bit until we get to a place where we see some uh, choices popping up. Here we go, back, back one step. So the uh, board on the left here, this is the actual game, and the letter A shows where the next move was played. And on the, uh, on the right side, it shows um, what are the alternatives that the, uh, the uh, Go engine is looking at at this point. And it, I think it gives its top five choices. And if you look at each one, A, um, if you look down here you, at the bottom, you will see it gives a uh, black win over white win probability, which is near 50%. And um, if we look at B, you can see it's also near 50%. If we look at uh, C, yeah, and uh, D and E. So, uh, you know, I'm not quite sure. I thought the, the A, B, C, D, and E would be in order, but looking at the probabilities, it's, it's not, not all that clear to me wow, what order they chose them in. But A is the move I actually played, and then it gives this um, sequence of moves following that. So that uh, looking ahead five moves, I guess they mean move pairs because it's looked ahead about, uh, it's gone from one up to 11 as a logical uh, sequence to follow from that point of view. And then over here, uh, it gives, I guess, the next few games that were played. And down here, it also gives the win-loss probability. So um, you can step through uh, 10 moves at a time, or five full moves, 10 half moves. Um, and um, you can watch the probabilities change. And during the early part of the game, it looks like I was doing well. I had the, uh, the white pieces, I think. And uh, you'll see that... Uh, Black's probability has gone down to 30%, and my probability has gone up to 67%. So I was playing pretty well so far. I had the white pieces. And uh, here, there was one point I wanted to look at in particular. Uh, remember, Black was playing all of these invasions. And uh, when, when Black invaded here, um, I blocked. And then Black played somewhere else, down another corner. And, um, and then I played away. I was wondering if it's a smart idea to play away because later he was able to come in here. So one of my options would be to block here. Um, where I actually played was over here, invading the corner at the 3-3. Three, three. Where the chess engine, or where the, go, where the go engine would play is over here. It would branch out on this side or here or here. So that, those, that's the kind of thing uh, you can learn. And then let's look at the probabilities with A, gives a 61% uh, probability for white. With B, it gives a 61%. And with C, a 50, no, 62. Um, you know, it's interesting. There's two different two different uh, win probabilities, one based on the, uh, the overall computation and one based on the Monte Carlo. I don't know the difference between those. I suppose you have to be more of an expert in the engines. But, um, but you can also look at how the evaluation changes. So if we back up, Let's see, black played there, and so it didn't like that move with, from black, and the, the evaluation changed. And then um, I played here, and the evaluation didn't shift too much. So I guess that wasn't a bad move necessarily. Um, and in any case, uh, I continue to keep this kind of good, good evaluation for a while, so we can go forward some more. See, my, my win probability has increased to 73%. I did end up losing this game. Um, so we can skip ahead some more and see I maintain this lead uh, through the early middle game. 
even at this part where he's got this other invasion going, it seems like uh, the chess engine likes, I think the Go engine <laughs> likes my chances at this point. Uh, but somewhere, uh, the probabilities start to drop. And uh, after a while, uh, my the evaluation has shifted to 29%. So let's, let's see if we can step back a little bit and see where it first drops. Okay, right around here. So let's see, from this move, at, uh, I played it A. Yeah, that was a weird move. I think that might have been a, uh, yeah, that was a mistake. I remember that. I, I played it on purpose, but then I realized later it was a mistake because uh, black can play on top and chase this stone. I was trying to block this invasion. So what does it have as an alternative to A? Instead of playing here, um, I should have played here. And you'll see my evaluation of win probability is still 54%. Or playing here it's 50% uh, so both of those seem like reasonable moves and then this move here is just a mistake and um, you'll see that it's 54% uh, now but after I play the move it dropped to 33% so that's how you can spot uh, blunders in your game going through uh, you know you can go through in, in big jumps and look for uh, places where the evaluation changes and then you can go through step by step and find the most uh, the most uh, the place where the change was the largest and so uh, so I think we can fairly label that move at A as a blunder and um, and Black didn't follow up in the best way he played here which is good forcing me to move and then he came back and played at um, A which is actually um, not the strongest move here. The strongest move is to keep pushing, and um, that that gives him a uh, win probability of almost 90%, <laughs> whereas playing at B, his win probability dropped back to 33%. So you can say that this move, even though it was like the second choice of the Go engine, you can still consider that a blunder. He should really just keep pushing, because um, if you look at the follow-up, oh, it didn't, it didn't show the follow-up here. That's interesting. It just followed up one move. Uh, yeah, in other positions it would follow up several moves. Um, but the thing is, uh, well, the, he can just capture these stones after I block, so he can just keep coming. I don't, I don't have any good way to stop this this stone from coming forward and uh, and just eating up more territory here. So, um, um, <clears throat> so that's what black should do there. Anyway, at a certain point in the game, um, the, the, the winning probability drops so low Let's see if we can get to that point. There, it's down to 6%, down to 4%. At some point, yes, here we go. For this position, Leela would resign. So, so I think it has a 0% a probability of winning at this point. But uh, one of the options you can choose is to keep evaluating after that point. And my opponent doesn't play the best moves in every case. And so in certain positions... Um, Okay, now I, I guess it didn't show up. I, I was going through it once and I thought I noticed a place where it said, well, Leela would resign here. And then I went on a for few for, few moves later and it was it was playing once again and, and having, having some probability, although small, of uh, winning. Anyway, uh, that's it for, uh, for this video. I thought uh, this was pretty interesting. And if I can uh, figure out how to uh, use this to improve my own games, maybe I will do some some example uh, reviews of my games, but uh, I just wanted in this video to give you a flavor of this program and uh, give you some hints as to how to uh, avoid problems when you first install it and run it, and also just to let you know about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you later.